Hi, this is Gabby. It's a day six in India, and this is another episode of Clueless Cooking Class. Um, today I'm going to try to make a healthy pesto kind of thing um, by mixing together ingredients that I think will be good for me. So here's what we've got. I'm, I have a hand blender. You put it here, and then you put it here, you pull the handle. So I'm putting together, I just rinsed everything to prepare it, so it'll be kind of like a cooking show, like when everything's all ready. So I have uh, spinach in here. Start with the spinach. Let's see how this hand thing works. Ah. Oh, I love it. So, see? So I'll do more of that, but I put that. And then I have green onions. Stick some chives in here. Um, garlic, <laughs> which I just dropped. Garlic. So let's my, 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 mince up that. Let's see if I can show you what I'm doing without dropping it. <laughs> the whole thing almost flew in the air. You need to have it stable on some ground, but you pull it and then. I feel like you're going to find it. Three, four, five, three, four, five. Okay. All right, so mince that up pretty well. And now I'm adding some peanuts that I had sit in water. Um, I put it accidentally in the freezer of my little fridge. I didn't know. Um, I'm looking for softer foods because I get constipated. And my bowel gets so hard so often. So what I learned from Kate Magic when she was here last year in Goa is that if you take peanuts and soak them in water for three to six hours, then your body enjoys the joy of the peanuts without getting the hardness of it, which is not so good for the bowel. So you soften your peanuts, and then it helps for your um, digestion to just work a lot more smoothly. All right, so this is what I've come up with. Spinach, green onion, garlic, and soaked cashews. Um, no salt at this time. I'm trying to, I didn't buy salt. I'll buy some seashell salt, but right now I don't have salt. So let's see how it turns out. Now if I like that, then you'll have it on film that this is, this is why it's called the Clueless Cooking Class, because I have no idea what I'm doing and I have no idea what's gonna happen. It might be amazing, it might be horrendous. Ready? Actually, it's really good. Too much garlic. Oh my god, this is delicious! Yo, yo. Ready? So, spinach, green onions, garlic, and uh, soaked cashews. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Oh, genius! Clueless cooking class score. Seriously, it's so good. If you make it, let me know. It's really